Hello guys, I'm going to be doing another X52 video. This time it's going to be diagnostics on troubleshooting the axis on the joystick and also the T3 and T4 buttons. So someone in my uh, last video commented and was asking for advice on the certain issues. Here's what he said. I am late to this and enjoyed your video, but I have now experienced a similar issue. The stick buttons all light up except for the T3 and T4 center one of the three chrome colored switches the stick is recognized by windows i cannot change any of the led colors for the buttons and the stick axis is dead the throttle is fully functional drivers reinstalled and a new mail to mail cable bought vice manager checked and okay all wires in stick checked and secured i guess logic would say the offer the offended switch is dead and I'm wondering if there is a way to disconnect the switch to bring the stick back. So my X52 isn't experiencing what Mazo stated in his comment. But what I can do is I can show some test points to check if the sensors and switches are operating correctly. The first thing that you're going to have to do is open up the bottom of your X52 joystick. And then we're going to locate the T1 to T6 buttons, which is located in the bottom right in this picture. Um, and then from there, we're going to probe the buttons to see if the buttons are operating and see if we have the VCC on the corresponding pins related to the corresponding button that we're going to look at, which would be T3 and T4. So these T switches have two push buttons, one for T1, one for T2, one for T3, one for T4, one for T5, and one for T6. What you want to do is probe across each push button. One's going to be 5 volts and the other one's going to be a common or you should have 5 volts across the two pins. As soon as you push that push button in, you're going to have 0 volts. If it's still 5 volts after you push that push button in, then we know that you have a faulty push button. If you don't have 5 volts across the pins, then you know there's a faulty 5 volt source. What I also suggest is check the soldering. There might be some cold soldering joints, some wires might be broken off. Check the integrity of the solder joints there. Uh, it doesn't hurt to reheat the pads. Now each one of these T-series switches share an LED. So T1, T2 shares an LED, T3, T4 shares an LED, and T5 and T6 shares an LED. So you can probe across the LED for T3 and 4, which is labeled LED 8 on the motherboard or on the circuit board here. And if there's a supply voltage but the LED isn't turning on, then we know that the LED is most likely burnt out. Um, if you have no voltage whatsoever, then we can tell that that okay maybe there's a power issue there check the solder joints check the wire and see if there's any wire in there issues going on as for the x-axis issue that he might be having uh, the y-axis and the x-axis looks like they use a hall sensor um, so there's three wires this is VCC which is 5 volts ground and your sense wire uh, the way how this operates is that the hall sensor is set in between two magnets. When you move the axis one way, one magnet is going farther away from the hall sensor and the other one's getting closer. And then when you reverse it, it and push the joystick the opposite way, that opposite magnet is now closer and then that first magnet is now farther away, thus varying the voltage difference. So when it moves one way, the voltage should increase by at least one volt and then if you move it the opposite way the voltage on the sense wire should decrease by one volt in order for me to check if the circuit was operating correctly uh, first thing i did was i probed the vcc and ground to make sure that there's about five volts going to the hall sensor and then put my positive lead on the sense wire and my ground probe on the ground and i could sit there and monitor the sense wire which i was getting about two volts when i moved the joystick one way it increased my voltage on the sense wire to about three volts and when i moved it the opposite way it decreased my voltage on the sense wire to about 1.1 volts so there's about one volt variant in moving the axis 
Now, I did check all the soldering joints and the wires and, and, and did some continuity checks between the wires that lead from the sensor to the uh, circuit board there. Um, other than that, you can check the magnets in the axis there. Just stick your screwdriver in there, see if it attracts to the magnets. Um, if the sensors, if the sensor is changing your voltage, then you know the sensor's working. If it's not, then you might have a faulty sensor, which you can easily pick up and buy on eBay for a couple bucks and replace that. Um, other than that, I did notice from the circuit board all the communication between the sensors and the switches then lead up to the inside of the top of the joystick there. I didn't go as that far as going into that. Um, hopefully this helps. If not, maybe there might be a cold solder joint or a cable broken between the top of the joystick and, and that little circuit board there. Uh, you can always do continuity check and, and see what's happening. Um, this is the end of the video. If this helped, that's great. If you have any more issues, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll see if I can find any more information out about this. Hopefully this helps. Thanks and have a good day.